It takes just six easy steps to make concrete candle jars using cementol. In fact, it's so easy, even a dog can do it. You're falling asleep. He's falling asleep. Hi, my name is Jay Catalano, and here are the supplies we're gonna use to make concrete candle jars using cementol. Cementol, silicone mold, mask, mixing bowl, spatula, cup of water, scale, vibrating machine, gloves, and a respirator. Now, I don't wear my respirator while I'm filming. However, while I'm downstairs, I always, always, always wear my respirator. Now, I'm not trying to be your mom or your dad, but you should always wear a respirator protect your lungs. Measure your ingredients. I know that I need four parts cementol to one part water. I also know that this silicone mold from Amazon needs 280 grams of cementol and 70 grams of water. 280 grams is four parts cementol, 70 grams is one part water. We're gonna add that to the bowl right now. First, I gotta put on my mask. This is important and I need to put on my gloves. I do not want my cementol to get into my lungs. I can't say that enough. All right, so I need 280 grams. I'm gonna turn on my scale and I'm gonna zero it out. Here comes 280 grams. 280 grams on the nose right there. I'm gonna take my box of cementol and put it away. Wait a minute, if you think this video is inspirational, creative, educational, with a little bit of entertainment, please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button. It would really help me out a lot. Thanks. Now, I need 70 grams of water. I'm gonna zero out my scale and add in my water. There it is. Let's move on. Mix your mixture. Now it's time to mix my mixture. This part, you have to make sure you take about one to two minutes because you do not want to have any lumps or clumps or anything that's going to get in the way of making your concrete candle jar smooth and awesome, all right? It should look like a smoothie-like consistency. Some people do pancake-like consistency. Who wants concrete pancakes? I do smoothie-like consistency. That's what I'm all about. I'm about the smoothies. You see what I'm talking about right there? There you go. There, I'm done. Let's move on. Pour your mixture. All right, now it's time to pour my mixture into my mold. I'm gonna take my mask off because I think I'm good, and I'm gonna start to pour. Here we go. Here we go, look at that, look at that. Smoothie-like consistency. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the top, and I am, bingo! Look at that, no waste, or should I say, very little waste. That's what I'm all about, very little waste. Okay, let's move on. Tap your mold. Now that we've poured it, I'm gonna make sure my vibrating machine is on and we're gonna let the vibrating machine get all the bubbles out. And this is important. Now, you don't necessarily need a vibrating machine, but I like to do it because I think it really helps the process. You could tap it on the side or lightly drop your silicone mold with your mixture onto the table. I like the vibrating machine, so I'm gonna turn this up full notch. Boom, and I think I'm good. Let's move on. Wait three hours. The next part is easy. We have to wait for three hours to demold our concrete candle jar. I'm gonna take Cappuccino out for a nice long walk and we'll be back to demold this together. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Tell them not to go anywhere. Tell them not to go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Demold your concrete jar. Measure, mix, pour, tap, wait, and now it's time to demold our concrete jar with cementol. Now take a look at these jars that I've made in the past. These jars were all made with cementol and of course with a little color twist or a little something else. All right, let's demold our jar. Are you ready? First thing we're gonna do is we're going to flap our mold in half and then roll it down till we get to the bottom, like so. Boom, you already see half of it is already out. Now I'm gonna flip it over and lift the actual silicone around the lip. And I'm gonna go around and pull ever so slightly with care. It's a newborn, it's a newborn. Well, it's not born yet, but it will be. And then I'm gonna go around and I'm going to twist, 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 twist. Twist, you gotta do a little dancing when you twist, you know what I mean? This has gotta be fun, because if it isn't fun, why are you doing it? You need to have fun. 
Here we go. I'm almost out. I'm almost out. Here it is. Yes. Now I'm going to grab my silicone, twist it and pop it out and it's out. Look at that. Isn't this awesome? Now, this doesn't have any color. This is just cement all. And to be honest with you, it's gonna look really, really good, even though it doesn't have any color. Now, it is a little bit wet still. It takes time to dry. That's okay. We have time to spare. No matter what though, cement all and this process is super simple. You'll never have a problem if you follow these six steps that I outlined for you today. And take a look at these videos that are popping up now. They're going to help you on your concrete candle jar making journey. Until next time, thanks for watching. Ciao.